All right. Priorities. We all love priorities. We like to say we have priorities, but then we don't really have priorities. We love to try to do everything. We like to try to do as much as we can all at once. And the truth is the best way to get really important stuff done is to focus. And that means prioritizing. And that means not everything can be a priority. We all know that up here. So the questions here are, have you really inventoried what you and your team are trying to work on the big stuff right now? If there are more than three big things you're trying to work on at any one point in time, you need to remove at least one for this new thing to come on. If it is a new thing, um, have you really talked about what you need to say no to, or at least not now to informally stop Stop the work on those things, at least for a period of time. We cannot continue. We cannot constantly just add, 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 add. You're just, you're creating spin. You're creating swirl. You're frankly creating chaos. And no one can follow a leader, regardless of how great that leader is, if it's just confusing about what the real priority is. So something I always did was just look at the break, look at the basics, the brass tacks of generally there are four weeks in a month. So if there are four weeks in a month, then what are the top four or fewer priorities that you have? And can you establish then a separate priority for each week that you're all going to work on, knowing that you'll cycle back each month until that project or that category of work has really shown movement along the metrics? Have you created focused meetings for that week about that particular priority or huddles? They don't have to be long meetings. Do you have your success metrics uh, identified? for each of those four, and that those are the report outs for each of the four key milestones identified so you'll know if you're ahead or behind or, or on track. Have you identified accountable individuals, not just to lead each of the four, but have you looked at distribution of the work among your team and among others in the organization for each of the four? to ensure there's appropriate bandwidth for these things. Or like most organizations, are you picking the same people, you know, to focus on the priorities? And 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 then there's a real um, inequity and an inability to move forward. Um, and do you have a culture of transparency, a culture of experimentation? Just to say, even within these four, categories or priorities of work. We don't have to have everything, you know, lined up or detailed out, um, but just a, an appreciation and acceptance for let's try this in this area this week and maybe something else the next week if that starts to slip or if that doesn't seem to be working. How can we make this an idea generation uh, process, which will help you not only to focus, but to engage your team and engage the organization on these focus areas for you. Much easier to lead that way. So priorities are critical.